from my perspective, populism is typically used for evil, but in and of itself, like politics, like political parties, it's an empty slate. Right. And if I want to be a libertarian populist, which is how I describe myself, all I'm saying is I want to take the ideas that we all cherish and translate them into a story that's actually compelling to people that never read human action, certainly didn't sort through the, the, the footnotes. Um, and to me, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's almost a requirement if we want our movement to be popular. And, and if we're not trying to at least engage people that aren't like us, um, I, I'm not sure what the point is of what we're doing. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I just don't see how, obviously there are, there are problems with, with modern populism, modern populism, and with all previous forms of populism. And you could look at a left-wing populist or a right-wing populist, and I'm sure find a whole list of areas that we would disagree with them on. But to me, from the libertarian perspective, I mean, we have, you know, in the United States of America, we're, we're living under the largest government in the history of the world by any reasonable metric. Spends more money, has more weapons, big, biggest spying capacity, biggest prison in the state, like everything you could think of. And we have a completely managed economy. And this is this has led to like this whole, you know, the whole cartelization of the economy where you have, you know, the, the kind of Federal Reserve member banks that lead to this Wall Street casino where so much of the money is made. Then, you know, you ever see on the on the maps where um, like the richest counties in America are and they're like basically all outside Washington, D.C. or outside New York City. Now, that's not capitalism. It's not like there's some great industry there that's produced, oh, there's so many factories or something. This is just that, well, this is where the easy money goes into the stock market game, and this is where the politically connected get their government funds over here. So a populist who's just furious at the elites, I mean, how could any libertarian not at least understand why? Like, understand why, yeah, this is a really unfair system that is really unfair to regular people. And so to me, I think our job as libertarians is to kind of take that energy and say, yeah, you have every right. You know, you really are being screwed over. Okay, but here's how you're being screwed over. And here's what would actually solve the problem. You know, like I, it's like a, a lot of people on the populist left and the populist right have really correctly identified problems. They just oftentimes have the wrong solutions. I mean, even the, the populist left wingers, they're not wrong about the whole health care problem. It's insane. I mean, you guys get health insurance. It's so expensive. It's like ridiculous. I, I, I pay like 30 grand a year for my family to have, just in premiums. And then if I go to the doctor, I still got to pay more. And there's people out there who just this just ruins them, you know. And so I understand the, the impulse to be like, okay, but but here's the problem. Your answer is what the the government just socializes the healthcare system when the whole problem is that the government has driven all the prices up to begin with. So, left or right, I'm I'm open to talk to populists, and I agree. I think the only way we'd ever have a successful libertarian movement is if it is a with a spirit of populism. It's like a spirit of like these guys are screwing you over, and it's not right. Yeah. And here's here's the solution.